Hey guys, this is Travis with Equator Bushcraft coming at you with another gear review. Today we're going to be looking at the Rush Moab 6 from 511. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to compare it to the 511 push pack that I have a very long two part video if you guys want to see uh, that bag. But I just wanted to put this out here so you guys could have some kind of size comparison. Um, unfortunately, this is not going to be a very good review of this bag. I, as you guys know, I'm a, I love 511. I'm a 511 person. I love how they do things. I love their zippers. I love the Cordura and how it's nice and soft. It's not the stiff stuff like Maxpedition necessarily. But this bag, I was very excited about this. I was trying to get this to replace this bag, to give me a little more space and to be able to carry it on my back. Because when you wear a lot of stuff on your belt, knives and, and weapons and different things this kind of sits right on that in fact this one sits on my iphone that i carry right here on my belt and, it, and when you're in town it just rubs it and so i wanted to get something that was on my back to replace this one and so i seen a lot of good reviews about this and i was excited about it uh, this bag that i currently have everything in and to see all of that stuff like i said just go watch the review I'm not going to unpack this bag again, but this bag is, is not even 400 cubic inches. In fact, I think it's like 375 cubic inches, and it fits everything that I try to carry in here. This bag is 650 cubic inches, and it fit everything, but I really struggled to get everything in it. And, and once I did, there was no space for anything else, like if I had extra money that I needed to carry. There was nothing like that. As you can see, there's no external water bottle carrier or anything like that, which I think really helps when it comes to the 511 push pack. Even though it's a little uh, bottle of water, it still, it still gives you something on your person. And so I did put all of that inside here. And once again, like I said, I'm not going to do that. The organization of this bag is fantastic versus this one. I, just, I was just hoping for something a little bigger and I could carry on my back. So what I'd like to do now is actually put this on and, and show you what it looks like on me. Okay guys, so as you most of you probably know this is a sling style pack. It's meant to ride on your back and you can just bring it around to the front to access things nicely which is an awesome idea. It's, it's great. I love sling bags. Everything's right here. You can carry it like this or you can just slide it back around and it rides back here. Now, right now, I don't have much in here. I, in fact, I have some towels and some socks in here just to, just to show you guys what it looks like. And so it's not even hitting two pounds. But as you can see, give you guys a 360 view of how it even rides. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> very uncomfortable. You see how it hangs off your back here? I don't know if you guys can see that or not but it doesn't sit on your back like this, like you would think it would. And it's only got two pounds in it. When I had my stuff, which is around 10 or 11 pounds total in there, it was constantly just the bottom of the bag was touching my lower back. And so it's hanging off of my back like this. And I felt like I needed to grab here and just continually hold it like this so it stayed flat against my back. The other thing is, after about 20 minutes, it was horribly, horribly uncomfortable on your neck right here. Uh, Tim tried it on, and I, I was going to let him have it and let him put his stuff in it, and he did. And he put it in, he said it was like it was pinching, pinching a nerve. And so I've seen other reviewers, very few, uh, that have said it just gives them a headache, it cuts into them, it's very uncomfortable. So unfortunately, uh, 511 for us once again has failed in this regard at least with this bag but it's, it's not a very it's not very well thought through I don't think even to get this bag off the buckle is way up here so if someone grabs me from behind I, I'm in a seat belt there's nothing I can do to get out of this bag if someone grabs me and so where the Maxpedition and, and other bags they'll have a clip right here a buckle so I can just click that buck on it falls out immediately falls off immediately where with this one you swing it around the buckles right here and yes you can unclip it but you're not normally going to be carrying this bag in front of you that's the whole point of getting it having it on your back 
So once again, uh, the buckle would be better somewhere else. It can do left to right carry for those of you. It, it works for a lot of people, guys. Uh, a lot of people love this bag. But for us, it just does not seem to work. And how it carries, how it's off your back, uh, even your little your little electronic pouch. I mean, it's, it's up here kind of under your arm when the bag is right here. It's, it's under your arm. So you're going to have to go on over or you're just going to take the bag off, which a lot of people just take it off and, and organize and, and do what they need to do. But just real quick, we won't make this a long video just for you guys who are interested and want to know more about it. It may work for you, does not work for me. Very uncomfortable, doesn't ride on the back well, hangs off the back. It's just very awkward. But anyway, you've got your hook and loop here. You can put your morale patches on. You've got your Molly attachment points. I mean, it's once again, it's 511. It's, it's awesome stuff, you know. It's just unfortunate they're not more comfortable. Uh, you have your electronics pouch here. Most people carry med packs or med kits or anything. But inside the pouch, you've got a rubber elastic band. I was actually trying to put my, uh, my spare battery from my phone, the, the ones that charge your phones, and it rode well in there. And you've got a little hole here in the back. You've got a pocket down behind that, but you've got a hole. You could run headphones out or whatever you wanted to do there. So not much to that pocket. Then you've got the back pocket. Let me scoot up here so you guys can see this a little better. Let me adjust the camera so you guys can see this a little Okay, better. guys, so I've brought the camera in just so you can get a better look at the bag. Starting with the front pocket. Once again, I've just got some towels and washcloths in here so it pooched out. <clears throat> it is spacious. It's just not... It's not very organized, I should say, but this is like the admin pouch. And in the front, right off, you have two, these will hold mags, so you can throw an AR, even an AK mag will fit in there. That's where I threw my tourniquet and my GPS. And you can see in the bag here, it's, it's got its little admin pocket. You got a couple up front, you got some pen holders here, another little pocket and a divider pocket here. So that's the front pocket. The other thing about this bag is when I had it loaded, completely loaded, I mean it's it's wide. Just so you guys can see this, I had it completely loaded and if you guys can have any kind of reference point here, that's, that's like nine inches deep, 10 inches deep. So it stuck out way away from my back. It also has the Velcro concealment carry uh, concealed carry pouch in between. You can open that up and it's got the hook and loop inside of there. So you can put the little holsters or whatever you want to carry. Uh, a Glock 19 will fit in there if that gives you any size reference. And it closes and it holds pretty nicely. And then the main compartment, the one thing I do like is how it zips all the way down, almost all the way. Once again, I just got some stuff in here. Inside, you got a pretty roomy uh, compartment here. You've got your pull closure strap in the back if you wanted to put something in there. A little zippered pocket here on the inside. Stand that up. Zippered pocket here. And then you've got a mesh pocket in the back. But once again, uh, with no water bottle carrier externally, it was tough, you know, to put that in and it made it pooch out even farther. Um, that was a little disappointing. You could add a water bottle holder on this from 511, but then you're just adding more weight. Something else hanging loose off your back is going to be even more uncomfortable than it already is. Then on the top here, you got your standard 511 uh, pocket that's, you know, your sunglass pocket. It's got the nice sunglass material in there, felt. You can put whatever you want in there. Then in the very back, <clears throat> you have another pocket. And I guess most, time, most of the time that would be considered a hydration uh, pocket. And so I did see somewhere on Amazon, someone said they had a two liter camelback or water bladder, two liter water bladder that they put in here and it, it fit perfectly for you guys who would want to carry that. 
Um, but all in all, you can see here, it's got left or right. You can put it on your strap. It's got the little rubbery things it grabs. I, I don't know why, because it, it kind of sits right here on your back. <laughs> don't even really touch those. Uh, all in all, guys, I, I am very disappointed. I, I wish I had, had not bought this. There was one of our subscribers that said the same thing basically I'm saying. And unfortunately, I didn't listen to him. And this little bag will run you about $63 on Amazon. So unfortunately, that was a waste. Uh, I guess if you're just carrying a camera or something in it, maybe a couple pounds, uh, it might be good for you. But to carry it as your EDC where you're trying to carry water and, and, and just stuff to get you home, uh, you're going to be, you're going to have a headache. You're going to be grumpy. You're going to be hateful maybe. I don't know. But unfortunately, once again, I love 511 stuff, but this one just is, is not for me. So I hope that helps you guys to make an educated decision on some of these bags that we do reviews on and stuff. We try them out. We try to pack them. We use them in the field, and we try to, to give you the best information we can so that you can make an, educate, an, an educated decision on whether you want to purchase this item or not. So, guys, that's been our review of the uh, 511 Moab 6. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please like the video. Please subscribe so that you can stay in touch with all of our latest videos. And remember, guys, practice for the crisis so that in a crisis, it's just like practice.